Welcome back. A frustrating day on Sunday for Team USA in the FIFA World Cup, finishing with a 2-2 draw against Portugal. After the game, US fans spoke to our WSJ crew on the scene in Brazil. I feel like we dominated the game. We had more opportunities. I don't know what happened. I mean, just five minutes of extra time and just at the last second, it all falls apart. I don't know how that happens. Our hearts are in it. Our hearts are in it the entire time. We're going to take this group. All we need is one tie or Portugal to win the next game. We got this. We're moving forward. And although the U.S. gave up a goal to Portugal in the game's final moments and did not get the win, the team still has chances to advance on Thursday when it faces Germany. WSJ Sports Editor Jeff Foster is here to explain the situation. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, you're, you're one of the, the many people who hasn't got uh, World Cup fatigue yet. No, not yet. Not so, yet. so this um, it, lo it looks entirely likely that that uh, the U.S. Uh, if, as long as it gets a draw, right? It could. Yeah. No. There's a lot of things that can happen. There's two two games that matter US versus Germany Portugal versus Ghana if the US beats Germany unlikely unlikely I they'll say. win the group and not only will they win the group they'll get to play someone sort of easy like Algeria or Russia rather than Belgium if they tie Germany wins the group the US gets the second spot they advance the round of 16 and plays Belgium now if they lose to Germany it starts getting complicated the ideal scenario there is they want Portugal to beat Ghana because it comes down to goal differential the U.S. will have the same amount of points as Portugal, and Portugal got destroyed by Germany. So we will most likely win and, that. And who were the two teams advance from from the group and go into the knockout competition yes. where, the, where they where they play right. each other for 90 right. minutes? And it, it's a very quick thing. You, once you play the game, it, you you pretty much know. You, yeah, and the game lost or you. Yeah, you're, and the games are going on at the same time, so you can't you know watch the other game and change how you play. And it really rapidly goes down. What I mean, Germany is a fantastic team. Yes. We, we 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 know that. Um, I saw Al Algeria. And um, uh, and Korea play yesterday, and, and I thought it was an appalling game. Um, I, I thought. <laughs> Why'd you watch that game? Um, well, because it was it was <laughs> early. It was, game. it was early, but it wasn't a very good game. I was thinking okay. neither of those teams could really. I mean, unless okay. it's a freak accident, can win. Germany would. Germany stands a chance. Would you say the U.S. stands a chance of actually winning the tournament? Winning the tournament? I, I don't think so. I, I mean, that's just a reach. I mean, there's too many good teams out there. Beating Germany, it's possible. The U.S. has looked pretty good. They've looked better than people thought. I mean, they they beat Ghana. Ghana uh, Germany couldn't beat Ghana, so who knows? Yeah, who, who knows? I mean, there's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a game of a chance in some ways. It's also a game of skill. Now, the, 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 the German team and the U.S. team, the coaches know each other. Very well, and, yes. And, and there was some talk when I was listening to the radio this morning there's of a lot them of calling, uh, calling yes. up and saying, hey, can you just do us you a know, draw? It, and they've said, no way, no way. Yeah, well, uh, they have to say that. They can't say, oh, yeah, we're considering calling calling the other team and having a draw. I mean, but th there is a history for this. I mean, in 1982, Germany uh, needed to beat Austria. Austria needed to lose, but not lose badly. Germany scored a goal against Austria and then basically stopped trying. And Austria advanced because of the goal differential. After that, they changed the rules. A lot of people were upset. Now they play well, quite the rightly the because you, go, yes. you you go to see yes. a game to to watch them right. sort of really try hard. That's but what people you... have been talking about this for a while. Jurgen Klinsmann, the American coach, was the German coach. The German current coach was his assistant. They know each other well, and he obviously knows the German team very well. So that helps the U.S. Well, and knowing knowing the team is very important because right. teams have different styles. How does the U.S. style stack up? It's say that it advances, and it looks likely that the team advances. How is it going to do um, against the various different styles of the better teams? Well, the, Jurgen Klinsmann, what he's done, he's sort of changed the approach to U.S. soccer. U.S. used to be a very defensive you know, team, sort of wait for the other team to make an, a mistake and then attack. Now he's attacking. You know, he's bringing it to the other teams, he keeps saying. So, you know, you never know. It depends on the matchup, and it sort of depends on a million different factors. But I think they'll, they'll do okay, depending on the opponent, but I, I think they'll only go so far. Se Semi-finals? I think, quarter, quarter I think quarterfinals is a legitimate possibility. Even if it's Belgium, um, I think they can beat Belgium. So I, and then after that, they probably play Argentina, and I think it ends there. Well, Argentina is a fantastic game. Some of these players, I, I look at this, and I think they, they can run as fast as a gazelle. It mm -hmm. seems to be unbelievably fast. And when they touch the ball, just touch it, it does whatever they want it to. It goes exactly there, which is nothing like me and the high school team played when I was at school, <laughs> I mean, which was just like, you if just we could hit the ball, the best. it was actually quite a miracle. Yeah, but, you know, we've seen it over and over again. You know, a lot of luck is involved. Look at what happened on the U.S.'s first 
first the first goal they gave up to Portugal, the guy just hit it. And they've the got to stop doing the, that, right? Stop yeah, you, hitting, you don't stop usually win World the, Cups when you do that kind of thing. Not in the <laughs> first few minutes when yeah. you're freshest, because they're they're running for 90 minutes right. and minimum. especially when they're playing in the Amazon and it's unbelievably hot and humid, so that that doesn't help either. But um, you know, it shows a lot about the U.S. team that they were able to give up that goal and respond and come back and really almost win the game. Well, I know what you'll be doing on Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff Foster. Thank you.